it's currently the 19th of February and I have exactly one month until Comic Con which isn't even exactly one month because February has only 29 days so Comic Con starts at the 21st but I am going to Porto in the 17th of March I think it will be kind of interesting to document my process of going to an artist alley because it's only my second artist alley uh, and kind of overwhelming because it's one of the biggest cons here and I have never been to Comic Con even if it wasn't just for an artist alley I never really went because it was very expensive or even as a cosplayer I think it was very expensive like 25 euro a day and Comic Con is four days it's kind of mm. Unless if there's like something interesting for you to be there for. This year, there's not a lot going on, I would say. There's Ivana Lynch from Harry Potter, Luna Lovegood, which I would be kind of interesting, interested to see. But I will not be since I will be at an artist alley. It's only gonna be my second table, so I'll be sharing and I have no fucking clue who I'm gonna share the table with. The table was quite expensive, it was 180 euro for a share table. Yeah, I still need to pay for accommodation, for the train there. That's the con of being kind of far from the con, but let's get to the chaotic mess. So, small intermission here because I really want to talk about my process with Alibaba or at least like ordering from them. So I just found a random supplier that had good reviews and good photos on them and I was like, okay, let me just message them. And I messaged them, I sent them the designs, they gave me a quote, I was like, okay, nice. The, I did ask for the silver foiled washi tape, that it was going to be a beef leaf silver foiled washi tape, but then um, it was more expensive because it was less designs so I decided to go just for the gold foil washi tapes and combine them together like same size same uh, effect she sent me proofs of the washi tapes I approved they looked very cute she sent me like this picture for here and I was like go ahead but will they arrive before the 17th of March please tell me that yes and she said Yes, they will. They didn't. But yeah, that was it. I was like, okay, can you send me a video once they're ready? Like, when are they gonna be ready? She said, oh, on Monday. It was Monday and she didn't send me anything. 
So I was like, okay, can you send me a video of the washi tapes? Like a photo of the final product and send me a video and some photos. And I was like, okay, these look fantastic. Thank you so much. I was already on my way to port. So I knew that they were not gonna arrive. So I didn't say anything when she sent me the proofs because I was expecting them to ship them instantly. She didn't. Did you ship them yet? And she sent me a message like, hey, yes, they've been shipped, but nothing was marked as shipped. But then when she sent me the tracking, it was indeed shipped. I was like, Vivian, why, would, why are you doing this to me? She shipped it, there was like no shipping update whatsoever, not from her part in messages, not from Alibaba on like the tracking of the listing. Overall, the wash tapes arrived, they're very cute, but I wish they were more opaque, if that makes sense. But honestly, they're very cute, I love them as they are. And yes, I was having a lot of trouble pay paying with PayPal, because I used PayPal twice on the first two times. And I was like, hey, it's not going through. It would take like one day to clear out because it, it would pay and it would deduct the money from my PayPal account. So I would have to wait, wait for the money to get back to my account. And then I would attempt to pay again. Like four days, a whole week trying to pay. On the third time I paid with my card and it went through. I think, I don't know if it was the manufacturer if it was PayPal itself, but it was being very PayPal phobic. I was having a hard time paying, but it went through in the end and yeah, that's it. So what I did was I ordered the washi tapes and I ordered lanyards with a charm and lanyards from Walgreens. Yeah, and they both didn't arrive. And since I knew that they were not gonna arrive in time, I decided to do like pre-orders and have it up on my booth. If you want to purchase them, I'll offer you free shipping. It would be amazing for me and for you. Not a lot of people adhere to it. People acknowledged it, even though I had like it up on my booth, like pre-order item, pre-order item. It was a mistake on my part because I should have like ordered them with more time for them to send the order. I just want to do some washi tapes and lanyards for this convention. And I just did it. Did they arrive for it? No. But it's fine because now I have really cute lanyards. I will insert like some clips of the lanyards. Yeah. I don't know how the hell do artists like print their stuff at home because I keep doing color tests but of course it's gonna print well on one paper but then when I print it well in here and I change papers it looks awful because it's a different texture and oh but why don't you just test it on the paper that you're gonna print on because I don't know why, they're looking like 
they look different when tinier, but then when I print bigger, they look darker and... I don't know! I don't know! Um, I don't want to waste! This paper was so expensive and printing paper is very expensive and I'm like trying two different types. And... Oh no! What is that? Like just...
record like anything else in a convention. There's that. Overall, I really liked it. I think it was an amazing experience for me, especially only as a second artist ally. I was able to meet amazing people. It was a very good experience. I had a very nice booth mate and I was very grateful for that because they were very sweet. Also a big shout out to my girlfriend for being like the best and supporting me and getting me boba and food while I was standing on the oh. while I was still on the booth myself alone. Overall it was a fantastic experience and I am so excited to attend more artist alleys in the future. I met amazing artists because you know I'm not the most social person and I did try my hardest and my best to be more social and talk to people and try to make some connections and friends and I think it went pretty great because now I, I'm talking to more artists inside the community and yeah, it did go well when it comes to the profit um, I was able to pay the table and a bit more but obviously it would, would, went for like food and accommodation and overall the expenses that I spent on food, traveling and all that was not enough or was not covered enough but honestly for the experience that I had I think it was worth it um, I did spend a lot of money there as well on artists because we gotta support our own and I love supporting the artists that's why I like the smallest comments that focus on artists are like my favorite because I'm just gonna be like hey take my money and go to every single booth of artists there and yeah it's not good for my wallet but yeah the trip was very tiring it was like five six hours in total just traveling to get there <laughs> it was tiring overall the con it was kind of boring I'm not gonna lie the best thing there was the retro gaming stations that they had i really liked those and my girlfriend was having the time of her life with project diva there and yeah big shout out to my girlfriend again yeah there was also a dj set every single night which i thought was weird it was popping off with that jurassic world theme song but it echoed so hard inside the artist alley pavilion that I, we were like make it stop please okay so that was it um thank you so much for watching my first vlog i will try to make it shorter and better on the next one i i feel like i talk too much but it's supposed to be a vlog so i'm like am i talking too much um yeah well thank you